Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can import your CSV data into Elasticsearch using Logstash and finally visualize this data into the Kibana. So in the last video, I have already shown you how you can install and use Elasticsearch, Kibana and Logstash. So if you have some confusion about installing Elasticsearch or Kibana or Logstash, watch my uh, last video about Elk and Elastic Stack. So to start with, I have already uh, running Elasticsearch and Kibana. So on this terminal, my Elasticsearch server is running and on the other server, my Kibana server is running. So the first thing which we need in order to import uh, CSV data into Elasticsearch using Logstash is obviously the data. So if you don't have some data to test with, I will suggest you to visit a website called kaggle.com and here you can find uh, many type of data sets. So just go to kaggle.com and then just click on data sets here and here you can uh, find uh, many various uh, data sets uh, which might be interesting to test for you. So for now, I'm going to download this data set, which is called New York City Airbnb Open Data, which is around two megabyte. I have chosen this data because it's uh, relatively uh, smaller compared to other data sets which are available here. It's about two megabyte file. So I'm going to just download it, which is going to download this kind of uh, zip file and you just need to extract this data wherever you want. And I have already extracted this data. So let me show you how this data looks like. So this data is going to look like this. This is a CSV uh, data, which have on the top some fields and then data. So in the fields, you can see the ID, name, host ID, host name, neighborhood group, neighborhood, longitude, latitude, and various different fields are available in this data. So room type, price, minimum night, and number of reviews, and all this kind of data. So these fields we are going to use, which are on the first line of this data, to filter our data into the Elasticsearch and finally into the Kibana. So this is going to be used. So now the only thing which remains is to create a logstash config file. So let's create a logstash config file. I'm using Visual Studio Code. Uh, this file can be created anywhere on your file system. So it's not necessary to create this config file uh, on a specific location. So let me create this file. I'm going to just uh, name this uh, file as logstash.conf and then uh, this file is created. Now, if you are new to Logstash, let me show you what are the sections which you have inside this logstash.conf file. So there are three main sections inside logstash.conf file, which is called input. The second section is called uh, filter and the third section is called output. So in the first section, we give the input from where we want to import data. In our case, this data will come from the file, which is a CSV file, which is available here, which is called ab underscore nyc underscore 2019.csv file, right? So here we are going to uh, give a name called file because we want to import from file. And then inside this file section, just uh, uh, keep in mind that this is not a JSON file. So I'm not ad adding the colons here, right? So inside the file section, I'm going to add the path to the file. So just write path and then with the arrow, you just need to provide the path of the file, which is the CSV file. So I'm going to just uh, copy the path of this file and then paste it here. Now, because I'm on Windows, I'm going to just uh, 
remove the backslashes and add uh, the forward slash because log stash is going to parse this path in the form of uh, forward slash and if you have multiple csv files then you can provide the pattern here also for example asterisk.csv is going to read all the csv files which are available in that particular folder so that's the input we need to also provide the starting position so this section is called the start position and it looks like this so just write start underscore position uh, arrow and then beginning this means we need to read the csv file from the beginning now there is one more interesting thing which you can add here and that is called since db so the log stash has an interesting feature called since db and using since db log stash keeps track of where it was last reading a file before it crashed or stopped so if you provide since db underscore path is equal to dav null or on your windows operating system i suppose it's called null itself in capital letters so if you are on windows just write this and if you are on uh, linux or unix operating system you can write dav null as the path here which means this since db is not going to uh, create any uh, data file which means that if it crashes our log stash is going to read the csv file from the starting so this is good for testing purposes now the next section here is called the filter so we are going to filter the csv data right so we are going to just write csv here and inside this csv section first of all we need to provide the separator so the separator we are going to use is comma this comma is going to come in the double quote so this has to be like this written like this right and then we need to provide the columns inside our csv file whatever we want to read so the columns will be whatever columns which are available in your csv file so you just give uh, these uh, square brackets and then you can go to your csv file and just copy the first line of your csv file which is containing all the column names and i'm going to just uh, paste all these uh, names here and then you can uh, just add uh, the double quotes for every column so for that i can just say that i just want to replace every comma with the double quote comma double quote okay so let me remove this because it's going to just uh, overwrite all these things so now we have this kind of uh, double quotes and we also need to surround this data inside the double quotes also so we can just provide this kind of uh, double quotes like this so that's about uh, the filters now let's talk about the output so the output we want to send to the elastic search right so we will write elastic search and then inside these curly brackets first of all you need to provide hosts so just write uh, hosts and then using the arrow we just need to provide the host in the double quotes which is the local host and the default port for the elastic search so the default port for the elastic search is 9200 unless you have changed this port this uh, address is going to work and then the next thing you need to provide is the index so just provide the index this index will be saved inside your elastic search and using this index you will be able to uh, find out your data in the kibana or from the elastic search so because this is about airbnb nyc uh, 2019 data i'm going to just write here ab for airbnb underscore nyc now the important thing to note here is you need to give this name in the small letters no capital letters right 
last time i have given some uh, capital letters inside this index name and log stash has given me some problems so just give the small letter index name now the last thing which we need here is outside this elastic search which will be the std out so just write std out here and then just give the curly brackets like this so now this is our logstash.conf file and if you remember in the last video we have already added the logstash binary folder path to our environment variables that means we can run logstash command from any location in our terminal so i'm going to open the terminal so just right click on this windows button and then click on uh, command prompt so i'm going to open this command prompt as an admin and once this command prompt is open you can go to the folder where my uh, logstash.com file is there so it's not necessary but uh, it will be easier if we are inside the same folder where my config file is there so just cd to this uh, folder where my logstash.com file is there and then i can just run this uh, logstash command and then hyphen f and the name of my uh, logstash.com file so the logstash hyphen f and the name of your uh, logstash config file because it's in the same directory so i'm not giving any path here it's uh, in the current directory so i'm going to just run this command so it might take some time to start and as you can see here it's giving me some error which is on line number 8 which is related to the filters so let's see what the error is so the error is this filter so i have missed this l in the filter so now i have corrected this uh, name which is filter and let's run this uh, command once again so i'm going to just clear the terminal once again and run this uh, log stash command once again and now i can see here this data is imported from the csv file using the log stash to the elastic search and because this is a relatively bigger file so it might take some time to import all the data to the elastic search by the meantime we can uh, go to the kibana and kibana if you don't know can be opened on localhost port 5601 and here you just need to go to the management section which is at the bottom and once you are in the management section you just need to go under kibana and click on the index pattern and under this index pattern section you just need to click on create index pattern and you can see our index is available here which is ab underscore nyc underscore 2019 which we have given here in the log stash conf file so this is the same index here you have given inside the log stash con file you will be able to find this index in the kibana if everything is working successfully so just copy this name and then paste it inside this uh, text box and you can see success your index pattern matches one index just click on next and then in the configure settings section you can choose at the rate time stamp which is the default time stamp created by uh log stash for you and then click on create index so now this index pattern is created with this index name and your data will be available inside these column names so for example this calculated host listing count is there as the column name inside your uh, uh, csv data so let's see if this column name is there inside my csv uh, data or not so i'm going to go inside my csv data and i'm going to search for this name and yes uh, it's there inside this uh, csv data so you can see calculated host listing count is one column inside my csv csv data that's why i can see this count here also and the other fields also so host or host id or host name everything uh, here you can see it's coming from your csv columns longitude latitude everything
So once you have this, you can go to the discover section here. So just go to discover. And once the discover section is open, you can choose your index, which is AB underscore NYC 2019. So you can see one spike here, which is the data, which is imported at this uh, timestamp, which has the count 405. Data is still coming. So I have, when I go to this uh, terminal, you can see data is still coming. So there will be more spikes like this uh, in the later time also. And if you want to see your uh, data, which is imported, you can also click on this uh, small arrow here, which is going to show your data in a more readable format. So for example, here you can see uh, the version, the ID, and then host ID, the host name, and the ID which was uh, there, longitude, latitude, the message, and all the things uh, which are available inside your CSV data will be visible here. So this is how you can import your CSV data using Logstash into Elastic Stack, and then finally visualize it into your Kibana dashboard. So I hope you have enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.